hi everyone hope that you are fine so in today's lecture i will show you how to get the apk file from your phone from your android device and uh, download it into your system okay uh, like for example you get an apk from your phone and you want to save somewhere in your laptop okay uh, so let's suppose you want to share an application with your friend or any other person so uh there are very few and simple steps that uh, you you'll have to do so so in this way you will get the apk from your phone and you can uh share it everywhere anywhere you want okay so for that there are uh just three to four commands that you have to run inside your command prompt okay first of all make sure that your phone is connected to your laptop or system through a data cable okay so after that you will have to run an adb command okay adb devices okay but here you can see that adb is not recognized as an internal or external command okay so what does it mean it means that adb is not yet uh, uh you know defined in your environment variables okay so there are two ways to achieve this okay first of all uh, just uh, open this uh, C okay and uh, here inside users the main user and here you will see app data local Android SDK platform tools okay so here in platform tools if you copy this location and open your command prompt and change this location to cd space and just paste that location okay press enter so here you will have the access to adp so here you can run the adb commands but uh, so first of all let me show you adb devices okay so c this is showing the result that list of devices attached okay but if you don't want to uh, copy and paste this every time so there is another uh, very simple way you just have to open the environment variables okay go here and see this path click here and just add it okay after edit just add a new and just paste that location okay so press okay and again okay okay so now you have to uh, close this command prompt and restart this okay so i'll again open it so now here i don't have to uh, change the location because adb command is now a part of my environment variables path so i can just run adb devices okay so you can see that it's not giving in any error okay so after this okay so now in order to know that how many applications are installed in your phone and what are the exact packages names of uh, those applications so you will have to run another command which is adb shell pm list packages okay this command will uh, first of all make sure that your phone is connected to your system so now this command will uh, list down all the installed applications in your phone okay okay see I think that my uh, phone gets disconnected so let me connect it again okay so I'll run this command again okay see all the applications that are installed in my phone are listed here okay so now for example I want this the RAS seller application okay for that the main thing is this package name I'll have to see this package name and I'll just copy it okay so here I will run another command for 
fetching this uh, for getting the exact location of uh, this uh, or uh, for example here is uh, Mizan Bank app okay so if I know this package name but I don't yet know the exact location of this application okay so I'll just copy this package name and I'll run another command through which I will get the exact location of this uh, application okay adb shell pm path and I will just paste any of the uh, package name okay so I'll just press enter and it will show the exact location inside my phone okay so I will just copy this one okay this the whole location okay I'll just copy it and now I will run another command which will save this APK from my phone to this system okay okay so the command is adb pull okay and I'll just paste this location and after this after a space I will give the location where I want to save this APK okay so okay so for example I want to save uh, this APK into this location okay so I'll just copy this location path and will paste here okay so I'll just press enter and this will start saving uh, my APK to the specific this specific location okay so you can see that the APK has been extracted from my Android device and has been saved into my laptop okay so now I can share this I can even rename this to Mizan Bank APK okay so now I can share this APK with anyone so anyone can install it in their system so this is how you can extract an APK file from your phone and you can share it anywhere okay so if you like the video please subscribe to my channel please press the like button and also click the bell icon so you will get all the notifications in the future thanks